Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am just going to take you through a session that I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to do some hills um, in Greenwich Park and then afterwards I'm going to talk you through some of the training that I'm going to be doing for my 50 mile race that's coming up in September, the Chilton Wonderland 50. So yeah, stay tuned, see how we get on and I'll catch up with you in a bit. that I'm actually going to do today, as I said, is uh, some hill repeat in Greenwich Park. There's um, quite a nice selection of different types of hill. Um, so the one that I'm actually going to be going up is the long, shallow one. And I'm just going to take it nice and, e well, nice and easy. It's never easy, but nice and steady, shall we say. Um, and then just recover on the downhill and then straight back up again. How many reps? I'm kind of aiming for maybe about six to eight. We'll just see how we get on. Uh, so yeah, just going to finish the rest of my warm up, do a few little drills uh, and then get cracking with the run. Alright, see you in a bit. Right, first rep. Here we go. So as I said, I'm just going to go up it quite steady just because this is probably the kind of speed that I'd go up it in the race itself. So I just want to mimic that as much as possible. So yeah, we'll see you at the top. Bye. Right, first rep is done. Just gonna have an easy jog back down for the next one. I normally lap my watch at the bottom of the hill and then lap my watch at the top and then I've got the time for the whole lap and for the recovery as well so I can compare it on Strava later on. Let's get ready for the second lap. Another thing I quite like to do is look at my heart rate so I've got my heart rate monitor on my chest strap. I don't really use heart rate on my watch just because I have it quite loose and it's so inaccurate because of that so if I want heart rate data I'll always just use my chest strap. With stuff like this I just like to have a look to make sure that my heart rate's nice and low before I start the next one. Get cracking on the third one. Would you like to finish? Rep 4. Heart rate's pretty high now. 171. Oh. 349. Right, back down the hill to recover. Two more to go, I think. Six. We'll be fine for today. I did a speed session on Tuesday, so no need to absolutely kill myself today. Three forty-eight for that one. Okay, last one. Let's go. Nearly at the top. Last few seconds. Oh. Right, about six miles done in total for that session. I've not cooled down yet. I'm uh, still just letting my heart rate come down a bit before I start jogging again. If you're enjoying this video so far, please remember to subscribe and give me a like, tell your friends, tap the bell icon, and then you'll get notified when I put new videos out, which I'm trying to do fairly regularly, but I'm not putting myself under any pressure and just doing them when I want. Okay, back from the session, I just wanted to talk through a few little tips for running hills. Tip number one, don't worry about the gradient of your hill, just use whatever you've got. If your hill is particularly steep, then just go a bit slower up it. If it's a shallow hill, then work a bit harder. 
and it's not a sprint keep the efforts nice and steady obviously there is a time and a place for a hill sprint but nine times out of ten you'll get a lot more benefit just going up nice and steady and keeping all of the reps as even as possible tip number two is to look up at the top of the hill so quite a lot of the time you'll see people running uphill and they'll be really hunched over like looking at the ground but if you open up and look face up at the top of the hill you'll be able to really open up the chest breathe a lot easier so eyes on the prize and then the final one is just make sure that you're recovered before you head up on to the next rep so walk down if you need to slow jog whatever but just make sure your heart rates come down before you tear up the first or the next rep Right, just walking back from the post office and I thought I'd talk you through the training that I'm going to be doing. So I'm just kind of planning it all out myself and aiming to do one speed session a week, one long run a week and then the rest is all just going to be easy mileage. So the race itself, Chilton Wonderland 50, it's a 50 mile race and it's got 17, uh, 1700 metres of elevation, so about 5600 feet. They're not particularly steep hills, they're just kind of nicely rolling. I have done some of the course before but not all of it but I do plan to get out there and do more of it. I just find it helps so much um, just knowing where you're going and knowing what's coming up so I'll hopefully get out at some point in the summer to do more of the course. And then the main difference really between this and marathon training is just like the specificity so I'll be doing my long runs on the trails, some back-to-back -back long runs just to get used to that feeling of running on tired legs. And then just more strength work. So some hill training, uh, which is what I done this morning. And then some like actual specific strength sessions, which I just do in the flat, getting on the bike like once a week. Yeah, just to build that strength in the legs. But in terms of overall mileage, it probably won't be that much different to what I would put in for a road marathon. So I'm kind of looking at around 60 to 65 miles or 100k, 110k for the peak weeks. Um, I'm kind of doing about 45 miles at the moment, so a little way to go still, but we're just gradually building up. So what are my expectations for the race? Well, I don't really know. Like, it really depends what shape I can get myself into, obviously, but I did something similar last year, uh, the South Downs Way 50, and I managed to do that in about 8.40, 8.45 so under nine hours would be amazing but I don't know if I'm really in that kind of shape but that would be the A goal and then I mean I'd be happy with anything under 10 really most of all I just want to enjoy the day enjoy the lovely scenery and yeah have a bit of fun so yeah that's pretty much everything really uh, all my trainings on Strava so if you're interested or want to see more about specific sessions that I'm doing then have a look on there let me know if you're doing Chiltern Wonderland 50 or any of the other Centurion races um, and don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends and I'll see you next time bye oh and if you like this color this new color of t-shirt uh, it's available on benparks.com use code Sarah for 10% off okay bye